Hello and welcome to uh, Brecht Caravan in Heilbronn, Germany and I'm going to show you this van which is in front of me right now. This is a Lino from Bursner. It's on the Ford Transit, active model, 540 centimetres in length and in my opinion it looks pretty good. So what can we see from the outside? We can see from that bulge in the top, that's its tent in the roof. We can see, I'll show you a tick to the door, I'll just open it for the moment. And uh, right now, looking at it from this angle, what can we see? Uh, first of all, uh, I don't want to start for the first thing that stood out for me was the fly net. And this is something new, uh, at least as far, as far as a Ford vehicle is concerned. Now, the problems with the fly net, often you see on the um, on the Ford that you get a plastic thing over here because there's something to do with the shape means that uh, the conventional fly nets are going to, for example, Fiat Ducato and others don't fit. But anyway, that's how that works, like that. Uh, obviously, you expect a step, nothing unusual about that. But it's also got a bit of outdoor storage here in the double floor. All right, let's now go to the back, see what's new here and open the doors up like this and right what struck me about this is the fact that this is now in four pieces so we've got four pieces to the, uh, the mattress rather than three obviously as with every vehicle this will lift up and we've got the uh, gas cupboard in here so you've got two full-size gas bottles in there. I think uh, storage at the back is quite promising. We've got a step to get up to bed there. And now let's go uh, into the van itself. I've done this a bit differently to normal, but I'm just showing you around the things that initially stood out for me. Now, uh, there's a tent in the roof, but we won't be seeing that today because I think in a vehicle of this size, two people is uh, quite quite enough but I think it's also very good and what next thing I want to show you is the standing height it's on the Ford remember so look look at all this above my head look at all that uh, you can't get that in the Fiat Ducato I'm 1 meter 75 there must be about what nearly getting over 2 meters of standing height in here very good note also in the bed oh I forgot to show you from the outside the either side there are flares there's one there's the other side there's the other flare a flare on the left uh actually from here it looks even deeper than the one on the right but i bet it isn't this might be just a an optical illusion that you get okay up here deep storage in there as well so uh, as people said to me about sitting upright in bed i think you could manage it in there despite the size of this vehicle. Why are there two ladders? They're not, there's only one. Uh, they actually join together uh, to make one ladder. In here, we've got the uh, washroom. Note, two domestic drainage points and non-slip floor, very clever. And it's got a uh, sort of sliding door here. So for a such a small vehicle, fixed shower, it's got, oh, very good, excellent. And of course, got a bit of storage here for your uh, smelly things and what have you. Here we find there is uh, two USBs and that's the sort of place you could leave your phone to charge. And I mind you, it'd probably be upside, the phone would probably be upside down <laughs> because the wire would come around like that. But uh, all the same. It's a place you can leave your phone to actually charge. Let's come down here as well. And in there, we see we've also got a deep wardrobe. Now, bear in mind how small this vehicle actually is. This is quite standard. Two burners in the sink. Note that the, uh, the burners are getting further apart, which I think is a good thing. And... Uh, over here, we've also got extra storage as part of the 
as the flare there. Uh, lighting above. Below we find that we've got drawers. And now show you this. There's the floor. What could be down here I wonder? Bit of storage. So it's got a double floor as well. Step to get into bed, which I think I showed you. And here, also there's more storage down here as well. Uh, table is quite small, but it does have an extension as well, which will make it a bit bigger. Uh, chairs will obviously turn around, Ford automatic, in this case. This vehicle here also comes with this uh, panoramic window above. Now this vehicle is actually, uh, for, it's a rental model, uh, but you can actually buy them from here as well, if that's the sort of thing you're interested in. i leave you a link below so you can see uh, more about it. See, I'll open the fridge because people want to see the fridges. They don't look the same to me, but uh, there you go. There's the fridge. And a uh, uh, bit of storage space up here. Unfortunately, this is the only thing I can say which I'm even slightly negative about. It could do with a Kipua system, something like that, over the top. But other than that, everything I think looks really good and uh, very impressed by it. Truma heating up here here we can see what the score is how much uh, um, electricity and how much water that you've got in the system so there you go nice looking uh, vehicle and there's something I missed which is down here I've got this uh, there's the fuse box Good, so I hope you found that interesting. I shall um, leave links below. Oh, there's the, uh, the flare I talked about. It's quite a big one, isn't it, really? For the one on the right hand side, or oh, the door side. Yeah, I'll close this properly. Uh, lashing straps in there. I like the transit as a, a base for uh, camper vans because of the size. Now I do appreciate that uh, it's not, maybe this isn't the sort of thing everybody wants, such a high uh, vehicle. Um, obviously a higher vehicle will burn more fuel. But anyway, there you go. There it is. <laughs> uh, short Fiat, not Fiat, sorry. <laughs> Short Ford Transit uh, motorhome. Tiny, it's a tiny camper effectively because you can't really get them uh, much shorter than this one. And, uh, it, but it's got lots inside. So, thanks very much for watching. I hope you found that uh, of interest. And so I upload uh, every uh, day at 21.15. And uh, if you're interested in this type of thing, then you might want to subscribe for the moment. All the best from me in Heilbronn, Germany.